Shut up and sit down. The Dell Inspiron 15 5002 in 1 combines a basic convertible design with Intel's latest 8th generation processors, making it an attractive option with its starting price of $649, $699 as reviewed. The specifications look promising for a mid-range laptop, with a new processor, 256GB SSD, 1080p touchscreen, and an infrared camera for easy and secure face logins. Unfortunately, the laptop suffers from a disappointing display, limited port selection and miserably short battery life. Design. The sleek looking 2-in-1 is made of dark grey plastic with a metallic sheen, and features a bendback convertible design. Thanks to the laptop's 360 degree hinge, you can flip and fold the Inspiron into four different modes, laptop, stand, tent and tablet mode. The hinges offer a good balance of firmness and easy movement so that you can transition from mode to mode smoothly, but feel stable in each. Dell touts the Inspiron 15 5000's durability, citing extensive reliability testing. Dell boasts that the laptop can survive short periods of hot temperatures, up to 149 degrees Fahrenheit. The hinges are reportedly good for opening, closing and repositioning more than 20,000 times while the keyboard keys are rated for more than 10 million keystrokes and the multimedia buttons for up to 40,000 button presses. The battery can be removed and reinstalled 30 plus times. The Inspiron 15 5002 in 1 measures 15.04 x 9.96 x 0.8 inches, which makes it similar in thickness and weight to other 2-in-1 systems, like the Lenovo Flex 5, 0.8 inches thick and 4.7 pounds, HP Envy X360 M6. 0.9 inches thick and 4.6 pounds, and Lenovo Yoga 720, 0.8 inches and 4.6 pounds. While this is a common weight for this size, the combination of bulk and heft makes the Inspiron a bit too large to comfortably use it as a tablet for long periods. On the left side of the laptop, you'll find two USB 3.0 ports, one with power share for charging phones and the like, an HDMI output and an audio jack. On the right is a USB 2.0 port, an SD card slot, and buttons for power and volume control. Conspicuously absent is a USB Type-C port, which can be found on both the Lenovo Flex 5 and the HP Envy X360 M6, while the Lenovo Yoga 720 steps up to a full Thunderbolt 3 port. Display and Audio The Inspiron 15 5000 comes with a crisp, 15.6 inch, 1080p display. When I watched the trailer for Rampage, Dwayne Johnson's head had its familiar smooth sheen, and scenes of a 40-foot-tall gorilla destroying downtown Chicago looked gleefully chaotic. But explosions looked a bit dull, and the overall viewing experience was dim. According to our colorimeter, the Inspiron has better than average color accuracy, with a Delta E score of 0.06, closer to 0 is better. The next best display we compared it against was the Lenovo Yoga 720. 4.2. Accuracy aside, the screen produces only 68% of the sRGB color gamut. While that's similar to what we saw on the HP Envy X360 M6, 62, it's mediocre compared to showings from the Lenovo Flex 5, 133, and Lenovo Yoga 720, 114. The screen's brightness also left something to be desired, averaging 203 nits which was again similar to the result from the HP Envy X360 M6, 200, but easily exceeded by the Lenovo Flex 5, 270, and the Lenovo Yoga 720, 272 nits. The touch screen tracked all of my tapping and gesturing without any issues. It supports 10-finger input and is compatible with Windows and can active stylus devices, 